Well, there's just some things in your life you just I can't survive without them. I couldn't make it through this year without the products sitting in front of me. Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I figured that we could finish out Wemis with a stress-free, girly chat. Me and you talking about all of my favorites from this year. It's just an easy way to end Wemis. You know what I mean? I picked my absolute must-haves from 2021. I've seen so many people do this every single year, and then I always am like, I'm gonna do this video. And then it's February of the following year, and it just feels a little too late. You know what I mean? I'm splitting these into categories. I will list the chapters below. We're going to do lifestyle, snacks, and makeup. Okay, I did skip skincare only because we just did a product empties and I feel like that really shows you my favorite skincare products. And then I also toss in here a few items that I not purposely have been gatekeeping. There just hasn't been a chance for me to bring them up. So I'm bringing them up today. Let's begin. Let's kick it off with hair care. I've been on a hair journey. I lost half of my hair. Hey, one day it said, I'm out of here. Sayonara. And it left me. So since then, I've been on this hair journey and I've been really trying to take really good care of my hair. This shampoo and conditioner is one of my favorite things from this year. This is the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. It makes my hair feel so soft, clean, lightweight. Listen, I love Olaplex. You guys know this. Olaplex, Ghost, and then I have a cleansing shampoo. That's my rotation that I swap every third wash. But Olaplex, it leaves my hair feeling so heavy, you know, all that protein in it really just weighs it down. So my hairdresser introduced me to Ghost. It is a favorite of mine. I love the smell. I love how it makes my hair feel. And you can get these big jugs. I've been using these all year and they still feel really full. So I love these, a must have. Thank you for your service. I also have to give a big shout out to the Day Prickly Pear Hair Oil. This hair oil, it's just unlike anything else. When you put it on, you're like, oh no, oh no. This is gonna weigh my hair down because it's so like thick and hydrating. I use two pumps on my hair, one pump on this side, one pump on this side. It absorbs so quickly. It does not leave any sort of residue and it really just makes my hair feel so soft, so luxurious. It has a very light scent and it is a beautiful product. Like truly my favorite hair oil I've ever owned. You know how some hair oils, you put them in your leg? I have hair oil in my hair. Not with this bad boy. Every single day that I finish doing my hair, I apply this hair oil. It is top of the line. Thank you. So I'll like do my hair. I'll curl my hair. Put some texturizing spray in it. One pump on this side. One pump on this side ready to go. I will also use this on second and third day hair and it just brings my curls back to life because I curled my hair today but then tomorrow when I wake up I'll be like oh no my curls they're gone and then I'll put a little bit of this in and it really just brings those curls back to life so couldn't live without you. Couldn't live without you girly. Okay let's move into some of my lifestyle favorites. I feel like I don't get to talk about these much on my channel so dun 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 dun. <sighs> This is my girl. This is my cooking best friend. My favorite item I have in my kitchen. And I'm sure you've seen this before because whoever is running their Facebook, Instagram, their marketing in general, I mean, they're absolutely killing it. I own this pan and I still get hit with an ad every single day. So this was definitely like, Instagram made me buy it. Turned BFF. Okay, you're supposed to be able to do everything in this. Like you're supposed to be able to like boil water. It comes with like a steamer, it comes with a spatula. I don't use any of the gadgets it comes with, but the pan itself, non-toxic, non-stick. I mean, it is truly magnificent. I've used this four to five times a week for almost a year now. The non-stick is still incredible and it's so chic. They have so many colors. Cooking has become um, like a mental wellness outlet for me. It's one of those things where every night I just like, I get off my phone, I pull up a show that I really enjoy I cook dinner and it has become like me time and this is my me time in the kitchen bestie definitely wait for a sale because I know it's an expensive pan so I think I got like 30 40 percent off when I purchased it so wait for a sale you do have to be very gentle with this you have to be very gentle with any like top of the line non-stick non-toxic products you can't go above medium heat you have to hand wash it you have to use a very gentle wash it's all worth it it's all worth it because it makes cooking so much easier thank you Thank you so much. Another little mental wellness outlet, reading. Haven't read in years, you know what I mean? Haven't read for fun in years. How about that, hmm? This year I discovered the author, Colleen Hoover. She has changed my life. There is nothing quite like deep diving into a book. It's an escape, you know what I mean? I will always remember this book, Verity, as my 4th of July book. I read this in less than 24 hours. It is a spooky, spooky book. Verity, Colleen Hoover, you have to 
it's a page turner. You can't put it down until you're done. And I still think about this book every single day. I don't know, reading really became an outlet for me, you guys. But here's another thing. And I hope that you can relate to this. I get too invested. You know what I mean? Because I read Ugly Love and I feel like I was hungover. I've never been hungover, but I was having a book hangover after reading Ugly Love. Like Verity, I was like, okay, I'm thinking about this for days. This, I felt hungover. It destroyed me. So many people love the book It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I have read that book. I liked Ugly Love more. That's all I'm saying. But I deeply, deeply, heavily related to this novel. And I did finish this last month and I have not picked up another book since then. Another fiction book since then. Because I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready. Because I get too invested. And then I get emotional. And then I like act out. You know what I mean? Two beautiful books. Please. Please read them. Also, they're spicy. I don't know if you're into that, but Miss Colleen, she's a spicy girl, and these are spicy novels. Thank you. I had to get a mention for me. Because the five minute journal. I know I've talked about it so many times. I firmly believe that living with gratitude has like deeply, deeply, deeply changed my life. When you spend five minutes a day jotting down things you are grateful for, jotting down a daily affirmation, like they truly impact every single day. I feel like this is the perfect beginner journal if you don't know where to start. Because when I started journaling, I didn't know where to start. And sometimes I won't use this and I'll just write down every single thought I have. But if I just need some mental clarity, I need to spend five minutes Minutes, writing something down, living with gratitude, then I will bring up the five minute journal. This guy's awesome. It has a little quote. Then you can write down three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, a daily affirmation, and then you can use this evening section as well. I'll be honest, I do forget to do that a lot. I love it. I never once had a morning routine until 2020 and I also never journaled before. So if you're looking for a place to start, maybe we pick one up and we start with the new year. You know what I mean? Okay, listen, Linda, I bought these last February and I've worn them every single day since then. These are my sunnies. You get a pack of two when you order them from Amazon. They're affordable. They're chic. They're so cute. They're not too small, but they're not oversized. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. Like, I struggle with glasses that are too small. They're not doing much for me. You know what I mean? The sun's still hitting my eyeballs. So I feel like these are that perfect in between. I got the set of tortoise in the black and I love them. I mean, they just, one of these is always in my car and one of them is always in my purse. If you're looking for for affordable glasses, look no further. If you don't like the tortoise in black, they have like several different shades to choose between. But listen, here's the thing. I feel like I might be ready to step into something with a little more eye protection. And I know I'd have to spend a little bit more. And I feel like I'm ready because I've had these babies for almost a year and they're unharmed. So like, does that mean I can I can dip my toes into something better for my eyeballs? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. It wouldn't be a favorites video unless I mentioned something about Navy and Indy. And these little lights, they have brought me and Navy and Indy so much joy. I mean, truth be told, I don't know if they love it. But so during the summer, we were staying out super late. Now it's winter, it gets dark at what? 4 p.m., 4.30 on a good day. And so if we're ever walking out late, we have these on their collars. We're a little slower. Or, hey, we're here for a good time, not a long time. So these are little walking lights, brings awareness. You know what I mean? We're out and about, all eyes on us, you know? Don't run me over. Don't run my dogs over. But also, we take Mimi and Indy to this like little park. Nobody's there. And sometimes, you know, they're just so small, you know? And they look like little chicken nuggets. They're easy to lose. So with these little bad boys, we never lose them. All eyes on Mimi and Indy at all times. We just hook them onto their little harness. I love them. They're rechargeable. They're so fun. And just, hey, keep your baby safe and have fun doing it. Thank you. Let's talk about snacks. I have two snacks that brought me so much joy that truly helped me survive this year. Number one, Good Pops. Good Pops orange and cream, two a night, every night. I look forward to this treat every single night. And I told you guys, I was like, I don't know if we're moving into winter, if I'll still enjoy these because they're so cold. No, mm -mm. I take a shower, I'm all warm, I'm all cozy. I walk to the kitchen, I get my Good Pops, and then I bundle up and I enjoy. I love Dairy-free, gluten-free, truly bring me so much joy. And Indy loves them as well. I mean, don't tell anyone I told you that, but I love it. Thank you. And I also have to mention Vegan Rob's. Dragon Crisp. I am Vegan Rob's number one fan. Hold me to it. The Dragon Crisp are just like, they're Pringles, okay? Fire, breathing. They're gluten-free, they're vegan, they are. Mm, 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 mm. They're not spicy at all, okay? Don't believe the fire breathe them because they're not they're not spicy. But as I am a baby back B word when it comes to spice, they're perfect for me. I have like 10 cans of these in my pantry, my fake pantry. I don't have a pantry. At all times. They're so delicious. They brought me so much joy. Who doesn't love a snack? Not me. I certainly do. And these two, I don't know if I'll ever find a better snack. 
Let's talk about some fitness favorites. Just real quick. These are my Nike Metcons. They're filthy. I need to clean them. Please don't judge my filthy shoes. These are Nike Metcons. I wear these every single leg day or day that I'm doing compound movements and I need a flat surface so they have a very flat sole. I stopped wearing Converse and started wearing Metcons. They have a pretty wide toe box which make, you know how you're supposed to like really claw the ground when you're doing your compounds? You can't do that on Converse which is why I made the switch. I love these. I custom designed these to get this all white. Listen, like, what's up with these shoe companies not making all white shoes? I don't know how much longer I can survive that. I love these. I always, 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 like, every single day on Instagram, I get questions about what shoes these are. Nike Metcons, flat sole, stable lies during your compounds, and these are my top fitness shoe that I've worn all year long. I love them. Like, are they the cutest shoe in the whole wide world? No. Are they functional? Yes. Do they make leg day wonderful? They certainly do. They certainly do. I'm sorry. I couldn't talk about my fitness favorites without mentioning my third collection that I did with Gymshark. This collection means so much to me. You know, I talked about this in my Q&A. Like, working on this collection was my outlet during those dark, dark, dark days when I had nothing to look forward to. Working on this collection brought me so much happiness and launching this collection brought so much joy and healing to my life and I'm so 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 proud of this collection these are just some of the colors from the collection we have eucalyptus standing line brown mink and gold blue i would say these are like my top colors from the collection a lot of the tops are sold out but we still have all of the leggings and shorts in stock i'm such a short sucker you know what i mean like i'm a shorts girl now i really think so so these are the two shorts from the collection so this is the mesh short we have this mesh paneling all the way through the tried and true butt scrunch you know what i mean because it's not like listen i love a good butt scrunch but like some some scrunches up they're like it's a little too much of a scrunch for me this is that perfect like when you look at it from the inside this clear elastic is built through the rear seam to really bring that definition to your little cheekies we have the biker shorts which is just mm. and then the high-rise legging and the mesh legging i feel so confident and beautiful in my collection it means so much to me the whole campaign around this collection was just all about mental well-being shaped by progress and i just feel like a million bucks in these. And you guys look absolutely insane in it. That messed the couch, it fell straight to the floor. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about my favorite beauty products from this year. I could make a whole separate video of all my favorite beauty products. So it's really hard narrowing it down to just like top, top, top. But these are top of the line. Whitney couldn't survive this year without these bad boys. I don't think I've ever mentioned these to you. But these are the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I'm not like a lip plumping gal. That's just not who I am. I don't like the pain. So I was initially hesitant to try these, but these are like my secret weapon. After I do my skin prep in the morning, I put these on and it just like mmm it makes my lips look so luscious for the rest of the day there's no pain they're super glossy and hydrating but not sticky because every lip plumper I have it dehydrates me. It makes me feel like the Sahara Desert. Not these bad boys. There's no tingling. Like this is top of the line lip plumping product. It makes my lips look so like just a little enhanced, you know what I mean? A little enhanced. Listen, you can tell they're like, they're a little, they're well used. This pink one is in daisy pink, and this is in rosy outlook. I do have backups of these ready to go because I love them so much. They're my secret weapon. Listen, I know you know I love mascara. I'm a mascara chunky, okay? I love my lashes to look extremely black, lengthened, not clumpy, but so full. And this mascara from Rare Beauty is insane. It is the best mascara I've ever used. You know, with me being a mascara chunky, it's hard to get that number one position. And this has done it. There's no flaking. It holds a curl so well. It brings so much life into my lashes. And with every other mascara I've used, I do like 15 layers not with this bad girl just two i love it i love it this is my girl this is my world okay this is the kvd good apple skin perfecting foundation bomb in medium bomb it is bomb but it's a bomb in medium 030 this is my third one that i've used of this this year it is i mean there's nothing like this it is unreal first of all let me get this out point blank if you have anything oily if you have oily face if you lean on the oily side first of all share some of that Okay, send that oil my way. Second of all, 
you won't like this. But if you are normal to dry, I mean, this has changed my life. This is my everyday go-to. I dip a foundation brush, I stipple it onto my face, it is full coverage. I'm talking full coverage. It melts into the skin, it looks so skin-like, it is so hydrating, it doesn't slip or slide, like it's not like emollient, it's just, it is perfect. It's my every day, every single day that I get ready and put makeup on my face. This is on me. It's just my skin flakes at the touch. So I need something that makes my skin feel just hydrated, happy, gives me that coverage I'm looking for. Doesn't ever look cakey. This is it. You know, like I love to test new skincare products, like a new foundation hits Sephora, add to cart. Not since I found this. I've not tried anything else since I found this because it's so good. I forgot to add this to my hair care. There's nothing really to say except for I'm a hair club girl now. Pack of four from Amazon. I've had them all here, like half the year. I love that. <sighs> my girls know. This is the Melt Cosmetics Sandy Cheeks Cream Blush Light. First of all, I will do anything for a cream blush, okay? Take me as I am cream blush. You own me. And this one, this shade from Melt Cosmetics, it is so emollient. It is so pigmented. It makes my cheeks look so delicious. It's like that perfect orangey nude. It brings so much color and life to my cheeks. That's what I'm wearing today. It lasts for hours. I can't say enough good things about this bad boy. Well, bad girl maybe. You're my girl. Thank you. And finally, I won't talk about it too long because you know I've talked about it too much lately. This is the Refi Brow Gel. It's this, oh, well it does have a brush on the side. Okay, if you're into that. It is the most magical brow gel if you're looking for that very fluffy brow. I have tried so many brow gels and nothing holds my brows all day long until I discovered this. I'm not gonna lie. It's finicky. You know, you can't layer this up. You can't touch it once it sets because it is, it will like leave that white really annoying residue. Like there was a learning curve with this, but once I figured it out, like there's nothing like it. It is glue. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Elmer's glue. I'll be honest. I do not have to touch up my brows one time throughout the day when I go to take my makeup off. 9, 10 p.m. My brows, they're still fluffy. They're still in the exact place that I set them. And I truly, I don't know if anything will ever top this. I'll be honest, I've gone through quite a few tubes of this. I have a back stock of it. Me and my fluffy brows, we can't live without it. Well, you guys, if you've made it this far, I'll tell you one thing. I really appreciate you. Thank you for joining me this Whitmas season. I am so happy that you're here. And I truly, truly, truly mean that. I love you guys so much. And I couldn't do this without you. And you have brought so much healing and love to my life this year. And I feel like I owe you guys so much for that. So thank you. Thank you for being here. My YouTube family is my whole wide world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so emotional. I just truly, I love you guys. And you mean so much to me. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you very soon. Very soon. I love you so much. And until next time, I will see you next time.